Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see here, I have some Dorado Gold. And first, before I get into the review, let me apologize beforehand, because this is probably gonna be a little bit of a long video. I try to keep them around the 15 minute mark, but I'm thinking this one's gonna be longer, because I have a lot to say about this company here. So let's get into it. Again, this is from DoradoGold.com. It says, Golden, the richest on earth pay dirt. Uh, one in 500, this is a two pound bag. One in five, one in 50 bags is can contain, well, it says one in 50 bags to contain $500 worth of chunky gold. Um, I know a lot of people like these bags. I think it's a really, really cool bag. It's really thick, something, I don't know, vinyl, I'm guessing it is. It's got a cool little thing in there and it's got a bag inside. I personally think it might be a little overkill because this is probably not very cheap and somebody's going to be paying for it and I'm guessing it's the buyer that's paying for this. But it is really, really cool and I will keep this bag because, like I said, it is a cool bag. Now again, it's supposed to be two pounds. It does come in a thick plastic bag on the inside with another bag inside. So this thing is actually triple bag, which is really, really cool. It really protects your So they're going to get a good score on that. But let's weigh it up to make sure it's a two pounds. Wait for this to zero out. I already weighed it, so I know it is. It's two pounds, 2.5 ounces. So they definitely met that. Now, a couple things about this bag. It's supposed to carry, it's two pounds, as you saw, and it's supposed to, guaranteed gold is 2.1 grams. Now, here's where I have a couple problems with this pater. On the website, where they have the description, there's a little read more button. And if you click that, it says guaranteed to contain 2.1 grams of gold. Now, if you don't click that, there's a picture. And then underneath that, it says guaranteed to contain one plus gram of gold. So really a big difference between 2.1 and one. I contacted the seller about that and he did not reply. And let's get into that part of it too. So I ordered this pay dirt in the very beginning of August and it just arrived to me this seller it took him over a month to ship this and this was with me constantly emailing him and emailing him asking him, where's my pater where's my pater and I kept even telling him look you have until X date and if you can't ship it refund my money and he's like oh just give me another week I'm out of town this 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 and this and this and this and he kept giving excuses he kept giving excuses but I kept going to the deadline because I wanted to review the pater I'm just gonna give him a horrible score for his customer service and shipping but it took I believe about five weeks for him to ship the pay dirt out to me and then the worst thing about it was so he shipped the pay dirt to me and he sent me a tracking number because I had told him multiple times you know as soon as you ship send me a tracking number so he sent me a tracking number and I kept putting in the tracking number and it was showing is not a valid tracking number or it was out of you know was it working so I emailed him back I said look dude it's not an email you know not a tracking number this is and I thought he got a pretty nasty attitude telling me, you know, like it was shipped and blah, blah, blah. And he sent a picture of the tracking number. Well, the picture he sent me the tracking number was a different tracking number than he had told me. So he actually typoed the tracking number and then got an attitude about it, which is not very good when you made me wait essentially five weeks for my pay dirt before you shipped it. You know, he should have been extremely nice and apologetic and everything else. And, you know, he wasn't. I didn't find him... Um, I am going to be curious to see if he made up for it in this pay dirt um, because, you know, like I said, it, to me, it's supposed to guarantee 2.1 grams of gold. If I find just that, that's really not good customer service either because, you know, like I said, he made me wait five weeks for this. Now, I did do a search on this to see if there was any other reviews, and there's only been four reviews. Uh, one of them, they didn't state anything about the review. Uh, the two pound bag is the only one that's been reviewed once and that was a review by another reviewer on YouTube but as he stated in his review it was a sponsored review which means Dorado Gold gave him the pay dirt to do a review which I don't think makes it a review I mean it just invalidates the entire thing if the pay dirt seller gives you the pay dirt but he did recover 2.4 grams of gold and he ended up with a 70% ROI now, his one pound bag, again, there was only two reviews on it. One was from that exact same reviewer, and he got a 120% ROI. And again, these I don't know if that bag was sponsored or not, but that's really high. 
Now my buddy Wayne Schmidt did review this also and he got a 79% from the one pound bag. So again, I'm curious to see where this falls in there. Um, I'm guaranteed based on what this, what I paid for this is 63.65% ROI. That's what I'm guaranteed. Now the one pound bag is guaranteed right now at 53%. So, you know, you get a little bit higher, but you know, 63 isn't a great ROI. I'm not gonna complain about it, it's okay, but I'm curious to see if it's gonna be higher than this. So let me tell you a little bit more about the pay dirt. This again is two pounds of unsearched golden concentrates, real gold vein concentrates for you to pan and process. Big and chunky silver, gold, copper bearing pyrites, two plus one grams of loose high quality gold guaranteed on every bag. Big gold vein specimens inside each bag re recommended for amateur and professional gold prospectors. Now, normally here's where I would put in what they told me when I asked them questions, but once he shipped me out my pay dirt, I emailed him about six times and he refused, he did not reply to one of those emails. So I'm guessing he was done with me as a customer and I'm fine with that. We'll see on this review if I <laughs> feel like I need to get someone else to review them again or get someone to buy some of his pay dirt. But let's get into it. Let's pan this stuff out. I'll let you listen to some music while I do that and we'll see what we get out of this. As you can see, the vast majority of these two pounds is in the minus 40, which has me a little bit worried because even in his description and from the reviews I've seen, he says big and chunky gold, which would tend to make me think it'd be in these higher three scales of classification. So I'm going to be curious, really curious to see what this gold is like in here. Now I will check the black sands and I already knew this, but there's a good bit of black sands in here. I mean, it's just a lot of black sands I mean, it's pretty dark material now one other thing i will say is in the other only other review i found of this two pound bag the reviewer stated that he was going to get it that they told him that there was a lot of gold in here that you can't recover and you'd have to break it down using you know hydrochloric acid and stuff like that and he said he was going to do it because they had told him that there would be all kinds of gold in there I'm not gonna bother doing that. I did, when I emailed them all my questions, one of the emails I did was I did ask them about that. I said, I saw that review and I was curious if there really was. And of course it was one of the emails they did not respond to. So I'm just gonna find out what I can recover just by panning this and see if I get my 2.1 grams of guaranteed gold or my one gram of guaranteed gold. So I'll be right back. And I will say one last thing, this stuff is really, really dusty looking. So I'm going to be really curious how murky this makes my water. But when I didn't see a big chunky, you know, this is all dust. I mean, a lot of this is just dirt, balls of dirt. So I'm going to be curious to see. I didn't see this big chunky specimen that they said with gold bearing pyrites and all these things. So we'll have to see. All right, I'm going to go paint it all out and find out what we got. And you see, I did remember the magnet. See, I put it at the top of the table so it keep getting from eyeballs. All right, be right back. Well, finished panning everything out. Well, to be honest, I panned everything out earlier, much earlier, and I shot my entire video. But for some reason, this segment got corrupted. So I'm going to try to reshoot it. But unfortunately, I've already combined all the gold together, so I can't show you and do the and even more gold thing. But I'll recreate it the best I can. First, let me say a couple things about this painter. It was very difficult to pan. 
it was very silty uh, from the plus 10 all the way down to the minus 40 as soon as it touched the water it just souped up the water pretty bad um, another thing that made it difficult was this um, I saw in another review where someone thought this was silver and I believe there is some silver in here but this is all just heavy minerals um, it's not black sand it's it's not magnetized at all but I actually happen to have a copy of the XRF metal an analysis of this seller's concentrates uh, he actually sent it to me a while back before I even bought this pay dirt and I'll do a flash it up on the screen now so if you see in that um, by that analysis 93% if I remember right of his painter is iron and then there's some cobalt and ruthenium and obviously a lot of that's been removed because there wasn't that much black sands in this there was some but not much but if you also see that about 1% of this material is gold and 1% was silver but there was about 40 to 50% of it was lead iridium zinc and copper and I'm almost positive that's what this is and it's a combination of all that where I'm guessing because once you put it in the water and it gets wet it really behaves and looks just like molten lead so I'm guessing there's a lot of lead in there and the only way to really extract all that any of the silver in there to separate it all would be to melt it all down and I'm not going to do that to get maybe a gram maybe two grams of silver out of it I don't even believe there's probably that much silver because I did try to pan it out just to see and it, it was just gonna it would have taken me weeks to get all the silver out and there might be a gram of silver in there maybe I don't even think there was a gram to tell you the truth and in the future if I ever bought more of his material I wouldn't even try to recover this because what I had to do was typically if I'm panning I just pan everything out and leave the gold in this case I had to pan all the stuff out that I didn't want and keep all the minerals and leave the gold in it and then once that was done then I had to pan this out and leave the gold so it was, an, it was just an double the amount of panning I had to do just to get this but I wanted to do it just for the video to show you so it is not silver it does have a little bit of silver in it but not enough to make it worth to try you know one day I, I plan on buying a little forge one day and I will save that and one day I will melt it all down just to see what's in it just to figure it out another thing in his description he says that big gold vein specimens inside each bag now these are the largest rocks I found they're not too big I searched them all with my loop found no gold in them the only piece this piece had a little streak of quartz in it I don't know if you see that and that was really it it didn't even have any gold in it but maybe if I crushed it up I might be able to find you know a thousandth of a gram of gold in it or something but it's again not worth the time to do that just to get that little bit amount of gold so now to the gold I found let me tell you first off because unfortunately I can't show it to you in the different steps because I'm not gonna try and classify this gold down I'm kind of aggravated that that well, this one file got corrupted <laughs> and I'm already a day behind because uh, a lot of this footage was shot on my daughter's phone and my wife's phone because my phone was stolen for my birthday so you know it was just that was my birthday present last week my phone got stolen so this weekend I've been trying to shoot a whole bunch of videos on their phones while I wait for my phone to come in and then you have a new phone stuff gets corrupted because you're not putting the settings in right and stuff like that so but to the gold this was I am I am gonna give it a 10 for fun factor because I found gold in every classification and let me just show you this gold there that's it bam a big old pile of gold and I can tell you what I found is about four pieces in the plus 10 and then about 70 to 80 pieces in the minus 10 plus 20 and then the minus 20 plus 40 was a big bang there was probably 300 pieces of gold in there I mean it was just a ton of gold and then in the minus 40 was about 80 pieces again so there was a lot of gold in every classification plus 10 there was obviously only four pieces but you're only gonna get four pieces you know you're not gonna get a ton in the plus 10 but let's weigh this up I already know what the weight is because I've already measured this and I guarantee you this will be 0 0.002 off of my last way because that's how these scales always work you know they always give you that 
plus or minus difference the second time around. That's actually what my scale was, my last way, 2.300. That's it. I'll be right back with the part that wasn't corrupted, and which is the ROI and my review. Be right back with that. All right, finished crunching the numbers, writing up my review. Let's get right to it. Again, this is from DoradoGold.com. It was his two pound bag. It was guaranteed 2.1 grams as the way I'm reading it, but it does say at the very bottom one gram. Its cost was $120. Now this is a weird thing. If you go to the cart, it does show shipping at $7.25. So total cost of $127.25. But when I checked out, and I have a note on my little scratch sheet I write, that they didn't charge me for shipping. I only paid $120. Now I don't know if it's an error in their system or if shipping's supposed to be free, but, and I just went and double checked it as well. And if you add it to the cart, it does show $7.25. So I don't know why I was only charged $120 and not $127.25, but I am gonna base my ROI off the $120. But I will tell you just in case they would've charged me ROI. Now, gold recovered, as seen here, this nice, beautiful little pile is 2.3 grams. Gold spot on the day I received this was $38.57. So this gold's value is $88.71, which means my ROI is 73.92%, or on my scale, a 7.4. Now, if I would have paid shipping, my ROI would have dropped down to 69.71%. Or in my scale of seven. So it's not that much different. I mean, I would, of course, take that 0.4 any day of the week, but it's just something curious. I figured I'd tell everyone, and I don't want to base my royal on shipping that I didn't pay for. So now for a fun factor, I'm giving this stuff a 10. I really, really did enjoy this pay dirt. I mean, like I showed you, it had gold in every classification. It was a real pain in the butt to, you know, get rid of the silt and also all these heavier materials but it probably took me three times as long to pan out than it should have because i was trying to recover all of this and i really shouldn't have and in the future if i ever bought their pay dirt i probably wouldn't even bother with this i would just go right for the gold because i don't think there's any real value in here that's going to jump my scale up any and it would, wouldn't be worth the effort i mean i could have probably spent another week trying to classify this all down to just get the silver out of it but I don't think it's worth it, not for a week's worth of panning. If you have a smelt or a smelter or whatever it's called, uh, you know, if you have a furnace and all that and a crucible, if you want to burn it up, it might be worth it. But for me, it just wasn't. But anyway, back to it. Pater description, I'm giving them a six. It's an okay description. I mean, it needs a little bit more and, you know, I don't know. wasn't that great, especially when you got the errors with the can't tell you what the real guaranteed gold is now for painter quantity and packaging he's getting a 10 he does use a really heavy bag it's two heavy thick zippler uh, ziplock bags and then he puts it inside of that other bag I, I do think that other bag is overkill because it's probably price you know is coming out of this gold but you know for a 74 percent roi i'll take it any day of the week with that heavy bag so he's getting a 10 out of 10 for that I, i'm gonna not complain about it now, for customer service and shipping, he's getting a 3.5. This is where he really is failing at. I gave him a 5 for customer service. He did reply to most of my emails up until he gave me the tracking number. Then after that, it was kind of like he was just sick of me and didn't want to deal with me anymore, um, which isn't a good thing when you're a customer and you're paying 120 bucks for a bag of pay dirt, you know, or even if I would have bought the smaller bag, if I'd have given him $20 for pay dirt, I don't, you don't treat customers like that, I don't believe in my book anyway and then he's getting a two for shipping because it took over a month for him to ship it and not only that but he promised me twice that he would have it shipped by a certain date and he didn't both times his total score is a 7.4 which isn't a horrible score i mean it's not wonderful but when you consider the fact that he got such a low score for his shipping you know, if you up that shipping up to a 10, if you know, because he did start out good, I guess he just got mad because, you know, he knew 
probably wasn't going to get a repeat customer for somebody who was not shipping to, his score would have been much higher. I mean, I don't know. So 7.4 is what he's going to get for now. Maybe one day if I come back to review him again, he'll get a higher score because he'll actually ship out his pay dirt pretty quickly. So thanks as always for watching, everyone. Make sure you subscribe. And Oh, but wait, I almost forgot. Time for my gold dime giveaway. So for today's 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway, it's going to Glass Tron. And right after I show you all the scores that I did, there'll be a little thing up there telling you where to email me at. Make sure if you're Glass Tron, you follow that and so you can collect this. Seven days to collect it. Thanks as always for watching everyone and happy panning.